Welcome to Make a Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today we got issue 160 of The Walking Dead, the cover reveal. And this is part four out of six of The Whisper War. We have part one in our collection, and keep in mind, each of these covers come with a connecting variant cover. With this one, we get the one with Rick on it. So this is pretty badass. But right now, we're going to take a quick look at the newest cover. This 160, we have Earl Sutton. Looks like he is preparing for the war. He is blacksmithing away, making a sword. His uh, apprentice is in the background. I believe that's his apprentice. And then we have a whole stack of swords. It looks like he's putting a sword back up. And there's a whole stack there. And then we got an epic look at Carl. This actually reminds me of, man, what was it? Issue 137? I don't know. I'll put it on the screen. But it reminds me a lot of that issue. Look how badass he looks. Man, I hope they make him look that badass on the show. Man, he looks like a bad little motherfucker. Scrolling down the page, I was a little worried because I saw the top of Lydia's head and she was holding something funky looking, but then I realized it was a whisperer mask. So this is where I believe they're trying to get us questioning or second guessing Lydia. This could either represent Lydia questioning whether she wants to go back to that lifestyle and that's her old mask, a symbol of her old mask, or I believe it's to mislead fans into thinking that possibly Lydia is holding up her mother's mask because if Negan took Lydia's head, that means that Alpha's mask is still back at camp, which is friggin' cool because maybe, just maybe, Beta is smart enough to bring the mask of Alpha to her daughter under a truce banner or a peace banner and give her some misinformation, make it look like Alpha was, well, she kind of was protecting her daughter and she was really demented how she did it. It's, it's like seeing a really twisted mom being like, Man, you're a shitty mom, but you sit there and cry and act like you love your daughter. So it's pretty twisted. So maybe Beta will try to uh, twist her mind up. But I think this cover is misleading. 159 has Beta on top and Dwight on the bottom. So it's likely that if Beta is on 158's cover, maybe he does get in touch with Lydia somehow before they actually go to war, convincing her to turn against Carl. I think that's a little risky, I mean, from a story standpoint, because it truly feels like there's no real reason for Lydia, even with her mother's death. Uh, her mother has been nothing but shit to her. Maybe she was good to her before we saw them enter the story, but it just feels like a stretch for Lydia to turn on Carl, who has been nothing but good to her, and even turning on them doesn't do anything. She would go back to a village that believes in raping her, essentially, so even if she was to betray the survivors, turn on them, give up some information to Beta and them, or even try to kill someone or open a gate. If she did anything to help them, she's helping them with the knowledge that once they win, if they win, they're just going to rape her anyway. So it doesn't make any sense, in my opinion, for Lydia to help them at all. I think this is just misleading, and we're going to see Lydia and Carl become a strong couple if they survive this war. That's an if. I think Carl's going to survive but I'm not too sure about Lydia. I do want to see her stick around, but again, I'm not too sure. Anyway, this is a very suspect image. Let me know what you think. She is either second-guessing herself and where she belongs in that community. I can believe that. You know, this could be something that's just too nice from her. You ever see someone who is brought up poor, they're just trash and they're used to trash, and you give them something nice and they just throw it away because they just don't feel like they belong there? That could be the the case with Lydia. Maybe she's throwing it away, but I want to see her pull through that and stay with Carl, stay with the survivors, and more important, stay alive. As far as the variant cover, these are done by different artists, but chances are this is just the artist's vision of the Whisperer War, so I wouldn't really look for clues in the variant cover. With that said, these covers continue to kick ass. I'm always impressed when they reveal another cover, and I am loving every one. And if you're a fan of the Walking Dead comic book covers, you'll be happy to know that I'm hard at work at finishing the very next comic cover video. I have the editing all done. I just need to add in the music, and we're good to go. So stay tuned for that. And it took me a long time, too, so I hope you like it. <laughs> Subscribe.
subscribe now.